at some point I was playing around with my daughter with the clay and um, I was, you know, just like boom, 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 making a little, little deer and, you know, then I made another one and another one and I, I, I saw, wow, this is interesting. I am now a machine. Uh, Marcel Wanders is for sure one of the most talented and original designers of our generation. He never looked at objects the way other people did. He always kind of questioned the function of the objects, the shape of the objects, and what they may be in the future. Well, that is uh, the not a chair, and uh, it's been a very important piece for me. It, it, it connected, I think, technology and uh, so high high tech and, and very low tech like craft. I work in a lot of disciplines and uh, with a lot of materials and technology, but at the end of the line, that you know, I, I work with one material especially, which is the gray mass. I change the gray mass of people's heads. And that is my material. When I first started Siegel Gale, it was basically a design firm. In the 1960s and 70s, there was a new discipline called corporate identity, which focused on developing names, logos, and uh, I always railed against being caught in this very narrow silo. And very early on in the business, I started to try to do a complete spectrum of communications for them to help them present who they are, what they did, and why anybody should pay attention to them. And back then, it was about identity and it was about stamping logos on as many things as you could and sort of big companies establishing their domain. I think he helped define the space. He, he moved brand building from where it was about identity to where it is today, which is about relationships. If a visionary is someone who's supposed to see the unknown, see into the future, I think Jerry has done that in at least three different areas. He did it in his business life with Liz in creating Liz Claiborne. He did it when he created the uh, Chazen Institute for International uh, Business at Columbia. And he saw it with, the, with the, the art collection, not only his own personal art collection, but with the museum. I think art, by and large, is a reflection of the times that we live in. I grew up in, uh, in difficult economic times, and uh, as, a, as a kid we were worried about surviving, so that the art part of my life really started a little bit later. As an architectural student, we uh, did a material study course and uh, we studied something about textiles and wove two afternoons. And I liked working with my hands and with real materials, making a real piece of cloth and eventually decided, well, I could be a uh, weaver instead of an architect. My parents weren't keen on that idea. They assumed I'd always be poor <laughs> and independent. Uh, it turned out better than they expected. Mm -hmm.